Here's the recipe I was talking about. I saw this on Carnivore Doctor, and she said she got it from Black Carnivore is where she got it from. So I'm just going to share with you guys, making sure I give credit that it's not my recipe, but it sounds really good. Um, so I've got a seasoning. It's called Everything Bacon. <laughs> Everything Bagel Seasoning Blend. This is the Sam's version. And um, both of these ladies are carnivore. So what they did was that they sprinkle the seasoning and then roll up the bacon. Now I did this with Parmesan the other day and it was really good. Okay. And I'm going to lay it like this little flippy end down for now and then if I as I fill it up um, I can stand them up Let's see. so I'm not gonna make you watch all these but that is the premise for what I'm doing um, you can go on Instagram and find um, black carnivore I don't I don't know if I saw her recipe uh, I didn't go digging on her uh, Instagram, but I did see it, uh, like I said, on the Carnivore Doctor. Is, uh, saw it on her Instagram. So uh, that's where I got it from. Um, again, this is not my, not my recipe. Um, so everything bagel seasoning, roll them up, and then... Um, I'll be cooking them. She cooked them at on 350 degrees for 15 minutes. My plan is to do enough that I can have five um, a day for the whole week. Because you know I do everything in bulk. I, and um, <clears throat> so I think this pinky's clean. But anyway, so that's how I'm going to do it. And I'll show you as I get further along. You may or may not know I have some mild OCD tendencies so <clears throat> I have room inside here and I'm thinking it would be kind of cool to also have some of the Parmesan bacon that I made um, earlier this week also when you are done with this you need to get you out of wifey I know they're scarce right now but uh, don't get yourself sick later by grabbing onto this when you aren't going to be washing your hands right afterwards and go ahead and, and get it all wiped off because you've been touching raw pork and um, wipe that off. So uh, uh, that's how many I use for there's how many did I say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14 in there now. Um, what I did this week before I before I had the seasoning, I um, I did it with Parmesan cheese. So uh, now <clears throat> I'm gonna break out the Parmesan cheese and roll up several, and um, you'll be able to tell the difference. See how those have little, you can see the little sesame seed things on them. So you'll be able to tell which one's which, and I'll show you when I'm done where I'm at. So I'll work on filling this thing up and let you see. Okay, so my thing set on 350 and she had her set for 15 minutes. This is how it looks. So I used two different kinds of bacon. This was the kind that I got from our local slaughterhouse. These shorter ones back there, they're, they're uh, skinnier. So I got, I had gotten those from Walmart. So anyway, I'm doing 16 minutes because I didn't let it warm up any. Um, so I'm letting that run. And again, I will wipe off that container. I've washed my hands already. I did that off camera. But uh, usually y'all hear me washing my hands. But uh, anyway, so again, I'm going to wipe this off with the... With the Sorry about that. My phone rang. Um, anyway, this is going my... Uh, Parmesan cheese is wiped off. This is the leftover bacon. You can still there's still some seasonings um, that were sitting on that in that paper on that paper plate. So I'm just gonna store it with that 
Um, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator in case I decide to make some more this week for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, then I this has, like I said, 10 more minutes. So I'll show you where I'm at when that's done. And that's all for now, folks. Here's an example of something I ate this week. This was my loaf that I made last weekend. I put some cheese on it. I think it was like, um, I don't know, like one of those stinky cheeses. And um, this is that that uh, barbecue rub that I made um, in several videos back for my um, for my ribs. I just kind of. I, I don't know, I, I can't believe I didn't think of these things, but I'm so thankful that I found that carnivore doctor. Um, but anyway, so that's what that is, and some cheese. And uh, put a little more in there. There's no sugar in mine, rub. Uh, this is the one I made kind of instead of Lyre seasoning salt. And I got this little pat of butter. I'm gonna put that in there because I'm what I'm craving right now some fat don't know why but I'm craving it so I'm putting it in there um, the bacon is still going and this will be my leper I've already had that steak earlier in my previous video that was my brunch so this will be my leper and that's what I'm gonna call it Brunch and leper. And morning snack. So this morning, my morning snack was some bacon. And then my brunch was the steak. Now let me taste this to see if I need to add any more. Mm, a little bit, but not much. There we go. So you can watch, you can see the ingredients to that a few videos back in my um, um, my ribs video. But so this is that's gonna be my leper, and it's about that much, so about a pound. And um, yeah, and then I'll show you these when I when it dings. Okay, here's the finished product. They're still hot. I just pulled them out of the of the air fryer. So this, that's the everything but the bagel seasoning. And this little jobber is a Parmesan cheese. That's a Parmesan cheese. And that's a everything bagel seasoning. So I've got them packaged up for five days. And um, each day I'll pull one out and have it for my morning snack with some cream cheese on it. Um, yep, <clears throat> and there's my air fryer. So I'll get that washed up and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, so that's something fun I'm doing today. So enjoy.